Dustin, and I am one of the product specialists at Neptune. And today we'll be going over uh, our bypass feeders and also our filter feeders. We'll talk about some of the similarities and also the differences. Um, we'll first talk about the bypass feeder here. This is the DBF-5HP model. And this DBF-5HP, uh, this bypass feeder, is, is simply a tank and it is used to introduce chemical products into a closed loop circulating water system. And so one common application is introducing uh, a corrosion inhibitor into, say for example, a boiler or a water and cooling system uh, to protect the internals, uh, the internal metals from corrosion. So just to, just to show you at the top here, this is where we would add our chemical product. And the chemical product could be in the form of a liquid, in the form of powder, or also a tablet. And then here, we have on the bottom side, this is the inlet where the water would flow through. And the top here is the outlet. And then on the bottom, we have a drain hole. You can see this. This drain hole uh, allows you to install a drain valve, and that drain valve uh, gives you the option, uh, especially when you're starting up um, a bypass where you're about to introduce um, uh, chemicals into your system, and you want to relieve any excess pressure, you can open that uh, drain valve and it will release uh, some of that liquid and excess that, that's in there. Next, we'll talk about the filter feeder. Uh, the filter feeder, can act as a bypass feeder and as a filter. Um, similar to the bypass feeder, you can introduce the chemical directly into the tank. Um, one of the differences between the DBF-5HP uh, that we just talked about and this model, which is the FTF-5HP, is the orientation of where the inlet and outlet is. So with the DBF-5HP, the inlet of where the water uh, would go is from the bottom side and would exit from the top side. With the filter feeder, the inlet comes from the top and would exit through the bottom side. So I'll show you where that is. And it would come out through um, this back side here. So inlet and then outlet. So inside the filter feeder, there is a stainless steel basket. And I'll show you what that looks like. And this stainless steel basket is only included with the FTF models, uh, not the, uh, the DBF models. And you can add your chemical products directly into the tank, or you can add it directly to the stainless steel basket uh, and then uh, put it into your, so either way you can put chemical products in here or also directly into the tank. Now, with the stainless steel basket, what this allows you to do is add a filter back. So, this is one of our filter bags, and we have four different options. As, uh, we have the one micron rating, we have five micron, 20 microns, and also 50 microns. And so instead of the bypass feeder, now this becomes a filter feeder. So you just insert your filter bag into the stainless steel basket. Make sure the top is secure and that the bottom of the filter bag is touching the bottom of this uh, stainless steel cylinder. And then you add it into the top. And then you close the top. And now, remember the inlet is here, so your hot or cold water will enter here and will leave through the backside, filtering out any type of sediment uh, or small particles in your system. 